Welcome to Level Up with CMJ. Hey, my name is Joe, and this is my Craps Master Dice Shooting Journey. Let's make it yours, too. Today is going to be episode 334 of the Level Up program and day number 44 of the Black Belt. If you're new to the program, this is about my daily practice of shooting the dice at the craps table and playing a blue-collar craps style of play. On the YouTube side of things, we got Lazy Dog checking in number one. Welcome back, my friend. I have not seen you for a while. And we got Liedem, Randy Hill, JR22, Five Young, Four, and Bam. So I have a little notice up on the screen there. It's going to be up there the whole time for today. Um, this is going to be my last level program for two weeks. I'm going to take a little bit of time off. Um, I'm having a difficult time getting time to work on that table build that is going to be donated for charity in October. And I want to use that time to actually get a good chunk of that table build done and get the video uh recorded so that way we can actually get out there and and start editing the videos and start posting the videos i did uh finish editing the first video actually it'll be the second video that i'll release uh this morning right before i started the live stream program and i got a song stuck in my mind <laughs> in my brain from that video it's kind of catchy song but anyhow let's get started we are going to do something a little bit different today um i'm going to do Kind of what I do with my normal betting at the casino, because normally what I do is I do a six and eight for 18 each, and I take a hit, and I go to 30 on the six and eight, so I drop three bucks, take a second hit, and then I'll come down to 18 on the six and eight again, and I'll hop to five as well as play the field. But I'm gonna put a little bit of a twist on it, and we're instead of just doing the six and eight, we're gonna wait for a point to be established, We'll do the six and eight for 18. We'll do the five and nine for 15. And I'm gonna probably do like the five and nine will go up to 25 if I get a hit on one of those and try to get a second hit. Uh, the six and eight will go from 18 to 30. And um, then whatever one hits the second time, we'll bring everything down and go back to my normal way of playing at uh, the way I play in Green Bay and that. But we got, um, Jeffrey Powell checking in. That's Jeff and ND. Good morning. We got Mike from 85 Bear checking in. And we also got Brian Flegel from Green Bay checking in. So good morning to all. Let's get started here. I am not going to do a pass line bet right now. We're just going to leave the no line bet and we will start it off. I have the white dice out, so I'm not sure what that means today. But we'll call this all bet set. 3 2 3 6 Cousin 1 set and dice out. Veered off to the left just a little bit, but we got a 415, the truck and camper. So five will be our first point for the day. And I've been throwing a ton of fives and nines lately. So this the way of doing this new strategy or the strategy I'm gonna try today might be a little bit different than that. Uh, our better way of doing it. But anyhow, we'll go, basically that works out to be um, uh, a 66 inside. So it's gonna be $15 on the five and nine. We got six or $18 on the six and eight. So we, um, like I said, 66 on the inside. And I will try to explain it as I go here. That last one, our first throw was a four one. It's a double pitch on that left die, single pitch towards us on the right die. That is a safe result uh, for the three V dice set because that is a single pitch of the dice on access. All bets set here and dice out. Got 17 people watching already. We only got a few people saying hi in the chat. So make sure if you're watching, check in on the chat. Let us know that you're here and say hi before the weekend starts. Dice out. They slid super tight together and they split apart, but we got a 325 this time. That would be the uh, Justice 5, and that is a Buckeye Buckshot. So that is not just the Justice 5, that is the point 5, as they say. So when we get our new point established, we're going to make that 5 and 9 look like $25 each. Again, we are not doing a line bet. So that's $21 brought back thus far. Um, we've got 
Six people playing, or 17 people playing on Crapsy. 19 people uh, watching on YouTube with five likes. So three on the left side was a primary hit. Two on the on the right side was an explosion of the dice. So that is a safe result. We'll stick with the three, two, three, six. And I will call that all bets set. Dice out. Looking for a new point. Shooter number one yet. And we got a six for 10. That is Wayland's best friend, Wayne at N, Daddy Joe. So 10 will be our new point. And um, again, like I said, we're gonna make that five and nine look like $25. Now that the bets are turned back on. And our, hopefully we'll hit a five or nine next. If we hit a six or eight, we'll make those look like 30, but right now they're currently at the um, at the $18 level. So three, two, three, six. And my hope by doing it this way is that I will be able to get all the shooter a little bit faster. I know it's an inside bet, so we need to hit inside number, but it's better than waiting for that six and eight to hit twice, which is what I have been doing, so. Three, two, three, six, they out. And we got a three, two, five, justice five again. Wow, that's three fives again. We started yesterday off like that, three fives in a row, but that is perfect because we got that second hit on the five. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my five and nine down. We're gonna keep that six and eight at eighteen dollars a piece. So we have uh, fifty-six dollars brought back to the rack. We have the eighteen dollar six and eight. We'll keep up there. We're gonna hop the fives for a dollar a piece. So that's a dollar and a four one five and a dollar and a three two five. And then I'm gonna pick up a fifteen dollar field bet. And now the goal here is uh, we have $53 on the table. The goal here now is to hit the field, hopefully, and we can start spreading out. And if we can get to that 96 across level, I can take that, that field bet off then. A uh, perfect situation here would be throwing a two or a 12 or a, um, right away, and that'll be pay out double, and then we can actually pick up most of the numbers right away on one hit. If we can get the nine or, or 10 or four, would be another nice thing, and then hit that again or repeat that bet so we can get it uh, spread out as fast as possible. So let's go all bets set here. Three, two, three, six. That last one was a primary on the um, on the left die. That was an explosion on the right die, so that's a safe result. Three, two, three, six. If you notice, I'm throwing from a little bit further away today. I've moved over instead of two boards, I've moved over four boards, three or four boards. So just in case Joe, Coach Joe pops in, you uh, tell him that I moved over a couple boards. Dice out. And we got a one, three, four. That is the big Joe from Craps Master Journey. So the dice came off with a little bit of high energy in the back from the back wall. Mm -hmm. um, that four does pay out in the field, so we are going to take um, the fifteen dollars and we'll put that on the four. We'll make that a place bet. So hopefully we can repeat that uh, that result. Uh, I don't want to see the dice bounce off the wall that hard, though. That that's kind of a little bit tough. But so anyhow, uh, not many, not much chat going on in the chat today. Make sure you guys pop in and say hi if you haven't done so already. That was an implosion of that left die, and that was a primary on the right side. And let's call this all bet set. Dice out. Oops, I'm, uh, I forgot to hop the five. Hopefully I don't hit the five, damn it. Okay, here we go, dice out. And we got a four, four, hard eight, square pair. So this is one of the downfalls of, of having this uh, this uh, field bet or iron cross strategy, for lack of better terms, uh, for me because I'm still making a profit, six dollar profit off of this because I'm going to go back up on that field uh, on the field bet, yes, um, and we're going to hop the fives for a dollar piece again. 
Uh, one of the drawbacks is, yeah, we make six dollars off of it, but we're still uh, we we don't have that opportunity to spread across, which is the whole goal of of doing the Iron Cross at this point. Once we get all the way across, we can stop doing that. We can just start trend betting the rest of the numbers as they hit them. So we got bot checking in. Good morning. Um, what are my plans for the tables? You're finishing your third one now, okay? I'm making that uh, deluxe throwing station that is gonna be donated to the Crafts for the Cure event in October. Um, and that's what I've been talking about for a while here. I already have uh, uh, probably <laughs> of actual work time on the table. I have close to 20 plus hours in it already on it. Um, but I'm just not getting enough time on my two days off of work to do it on the weekend. So I'm going to hopefully work on it during the week a little bit here. But we'll go all bet set. They sell it. And we got a 415. That would be the uh, trucking camper again. That is a repeat dice combination. I'm glad I hopped that five this time because we do lose that field bet, but that is hedged out with the hop five. So we're we're uh, basically coming out even on that on that deal. So again, we're just gonna repeat our bets here. Um, we're gonna go fifteen dollar pass line bet. We got uh, fifteen dollars on that four, eighteen on the six and eight, two dollar hop fives. That was a double pitch on that left die. That was a single pitch towards us on the um, on the right die. So that was a single pitch ultimately. Thank you, thank you, Buck. Um, anyhow, we'll go all bet set here and dice out. A little bit high energy again, and we got a one, six, seven, ouch. So we got out of the shooter, um, relatively decent. We got a couple dollar profit here. Um, mm -hmm. And the, the way that I have this strategy set up, and like I said, I use this uh, almost every time that I go to a casino. The way I have it set up is so that it's it's a slow build. Uh, hopefully it keeps you around that, that um, break even point up or down per shooter a little bit until you get that good shooter. And then that's where you start making your bankroll then. So in one shooter, I can usually make my bankroll and then I'm done for either that session or that day. That was eight rolls along there. We made a total of six bucks. Um, so not too bad. But again, no line bet here. Uh, we'll get a point established and we'll go back to that 66 inside. Good morning, Frida checking in on YouTube here. And let's call this all bet set. We're up to 19 people on Crapsy. We got 15 people watching. So hopefully some of those people over on Crapsy will switch over to the YouTube as well and, and consider subscribing because every little bit of help does help us. Dice out. The right die stuck, the left die went in. We have a 6-5 Minmo Yo. And that is true, coming to us from above. That is a pass line winner, a natural. Uh, it does nothing for me, though, because I don't have any bets on that pass line at the current moment. That was the uh, explosion of the left die and a implosion of the right die. So that was a drift left, a drift left, which is a safe result for that cousin one, three, two, three, six, dissect. Call this all bet set. Still looking for a point. This is shooter number two. Again, we're using the cursed white dice. I'm going to try to dispel that whole cursed thought. Here we go. Dice, they cross. We have a four, three, seven on the come out. So that is a pass line winner natural once again. Do not work that come out. As a lot of people say, do not work that come out. Yesterday we got bombarded with uh, sevens, most of them were that five, two variety. Um, that four, three here was a double pitch of the dice. So um, let's work on landing zone. Let's work on finger position on the, on the, on the dice grip. 
and we'll call this all by set here day soft. Things are split apart just a little bit based up here. And we got a 1-5 KitchenAid mixer. So six will be our point. And again, we are going to go 66 on the inside for our bets. Fifteen dollars on a five and nine, eighteen on that six and eight. That was another um, implosion on that left die, another implosion on the right die. So it was double implosion of the dice. Safe result. Um, we'll stick with the three, two, three, six. And now we need to start. Uh, we've been getting threes or fours on the majority of our rolls showing on top. So that's a good sign as well. Here we go. And we got a 5-5 five, five hard 10, the Old Bay Bushel. So that does nothing for our bets, um, but it does extend the roll. Again, that was a single pitch towards us on the left die. That was an implosion on the right die. So implosion with a single pitch towards us is a safe result for the cousin one die set, the three, two, three, six. Let's call this all bet set here. And they salt. And we got a 314 Big Joe from Craps Master Journey. That was a 3 1, not a 3 5. 314. So we went from one side to the sister side. The 10 to the 4. Wayland would be happy to see those results. <laughs> so he'd be like, I told you so. Threes are fours and tens hit all the time. I told you so. Okay. Three, two, three, six. That again did nothing for our bets. We're on the inside, so that is unfortunate. Now let's call this all bets set. Dice out. And we got a five, three, eight, great eight. And that'll be our first hit for this shooter. So let's make let's drop three dollars. We'll make that six and eight look like thirty dollars each. Got uh, twenty one dollars brought back to rack ninety on the table currently. So the perfect situation here would be hitting either a six or an eight. Um, second preferred thing would be hitting a five or nine since we're only on the inside bets. That was a five, three. So primary on the right side, that was a single pitch towards us on the, uh, left side. So all bets set. They out. And we got another 516 KitchenAid mixer. So that is point hit. And that is the second hit that we're looking for. So now once we get a new point established, we'll be able to come back down to $18 on the six and eight. And we'll do our iron cross uh, bet. So I entered the wrong number here. Let's correct it before I push submit on Crapsy. Good morning, Arnell, checking in. So, look, coming out here, uh, that was a point hit. So we're on shooter number two, coming out looking for a new point. Again, we're not doing any line bets. Once we get our point established, we'll come down to 18 on that six and eight and work the field as well as hop the five and start building up from there. So we are out of the shooter and all bets set. Dice out.
And we got a three, five, eight. That would be the great eight once again. So eight is our point. It's like today's gonna be inside number. So this strategy that I'm using might not be the best strategy if we keep on doing this, uh, but we're gonna go for it anyhow. $18 on the six, $18 on the eight, $15 pass line bet, hop the fives for a dollar piece. So that means that we've got $53 on a table with $56 brought back to the rack. So we're $3 in profit at the current moment. That was a primary on the left side. That was an implosion on the right side. So that is a primary. That was a safe result. Cousin one set. Three, two, three, six. And dice out. We're up to 21 people on craps. You know, 22 people on YouTube. Again, if you're just checking in, this will be my last live stream for two weeks approximately, unless I do a vertical stream on a weekend sometime, we'll see. Um, but I'm gonna use that time that I normally do my show to be working on the table build so we can get that done a little bit faster than what I'm currently going at. So, guys out. And we got a four, five, hard nine to Big Daddy Mac. So that is a perfect hit for us. That'll be a field hit. So we'll be able to pick up that nine now. Actually, no, we're gonna pick up that five so we don't have to hop it anymore. <clears throat> so let's do that. And that's what I forgot to do on that first shooter. I picked up the four because I hit the four, but I probably should have picked up that five. So we're gonna go $15 on the five. We're gonna stick with that $15 pass line, about 18 on the six and eight. So we have 66 back on the table again. 69 brought back to the rack. It's a double pitch on the left eye. That was an implosion on the right eye. So, what do I say? A single, a double pitch. Okay, so that's a safe result for the cousin one set. And we also had that four or three showing a lot again on the last few dice rolls here. So that's a good sign. So dice out here. I split apart a little bit when they left my fingers. We got a two, four, six to Kevin the Carpenter, two by four. That was a two, four, not a five, four. Just, uh, just spun on my, my, um, my fingers a little, or the, the stick. Spun them around a little bit. So two, four, six. And I think my internet just popped out really quick, but it hopefully will be coming back in. Um, I might have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to log back in on 